can take you anywhere Turn the pages and you'll be there Come on, join us, you'll see We're reading with Kevin friends and thank you for joining us for another read with Carolee. I am your host Carolee Harrington and today we have as always another amazing author from I don't know but you might actually have her down your street. Today we are reading with Miss Joy Ike and she is reading the story What Mama what color am I? Wow, that sounds like a very big question. But before we get into the book, I want to welcome Miss Joy Ike. Hello, how are you, Miss Joy? Hello, Carolee. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for having me. I am doing well. Yes, thank you for being here. And well, you know, we have a lot of friends that may be just around the corner from you. So could you let us know where you are zooming into us from today? I am zooming in from Tyler, Texas. Oh, that is the, the big state of Texas. Yes. We are so glad to have you here. And now I am going to, I have my copy of Mama, What Color Am I? But I know our friends want to read along with you or hear the story straight from you. So I'm not gonna interrupt any further. Let's have you take it away and dive right into the story. My pleasure. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of a surprise. Life for you is a joyful celebration filled with discoveries new and inviting. Tons of oohs and ahs about everything. All things to you are fresh and exciting. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of royalty. Your eyes sparkle like pearls, precious and rare. Your smile dazzles like diamonds. Nothing can compare. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of happiness. You fill the air with giggling sounds and paint our home with joy all year round. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of your great big bear hugs. I love when you hold on to me snugly. Your cuddles are the best, sweet and lovely. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of innocence. The pureness of your face brightens my days. You're warm, you warm my heart with your trusting gaze. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of your imagination, a little explorer who has many things yet to learn and uncover. Dream big dreams, dear one. The world is yours to discover. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of cuteness. Your little face is the most precious by far. You are a beautiful work of art. A picture of you hangs on the door of my heart. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of smartness. You are intelligent and amazing with a constant need to know why. You have unlimited curiosity. No one can satisfy. Mama, what color am I? You're the color of my love. Adored, cherished, one of a kind, a treasure, a masterpiece. You are a perfect design. You are loved, powerful, smart, beautiful, talented, unique, 
creative, royal, and chosen. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. The end. That is a wonderful book. And I love the fact that, you know, the book says, Mama, what color am I? But you don't actually pick a color in for either for any of these animals that um, are with their mamas. And I'm, I'm so, this is such a beautiful book and beautifully written. So can you give me, you know, the background of why you decided to write this book? The truth is I wrote the book as a do-over. I'm a mother of two amazing adult sons. But at a certain point, you realize that you could have, is this could have, would have, should have. Uh -huh. I, and so for me, I wish that I had just encouraged more and spent more time affirming and less mm -hmm. time trying to make them these perfect little human beings that they already are. And so my book was a do-over for my sons, but also to inspire other moms to remember that we should celebrate them in their childhood and affirm them for whatever, you know, whatever their strengths or weaknesses or challenges are to remember to affirm and celebrate them more. Yes, um, absolutely. That is definitely a lesson that mothers and fathers and like parents everywhere can definitely um, tap into. I know I have two little boys and sometimes um, it's not, you, you don't find yourself affirming them, but definitely um, that is a lesson that I'm glad that you were able to come and bring to us because you know we have a lot of parents listening in as well. So um, with this book, what made you really um, choose to, put it into the, you know, it's the color of cuteness. I love that. It's the color of cuteness. It's the color of happiness. It's the color of bear hugs. You know, instead of, you know, saying, okay, well, you are the color you are. Because our children are always going to be defined. Mm -hmm. I, um, I listened to your story with your son and yeah. they're going to have to fill in applications people are always trying to tell them who they are and what they look like. And mm -hmm. I totally believe that we should affirm their ethnicity and make them mm -hmm. proud of who they are, but also to dig deeper for them so that they know that they're more than just the external. To celebrate who they are, because that's a big part of who they are on the outside, but also the gifts and the talents that they have inside need to be, you know, cultivated, developed, and so that they know that when they're questioned and asked those questions, that I'm uh -huh. with them. Because it starts so young with people questioning their identities. Yes. Oh, that is, a, that's an amazing point. Thank you. So with all of these, you know, we have all of these books that children are going to be trying to identify with and being inspired by. What are some books that, um, or a book that inspired you when you were growing up or a book that you read to your children often? A book that I read to my children that actually really touched me was, um, what is it? I love you forever, love you always. Oh, um, wow, yes. It always touched me and um, I love you to the moon and back. Yes. Yes, I, I always enjoyed reading that for them and the giving tree. I, I enjoyed that to, to touch me. But then there were so many books that I was exposed to. I had mm -hmm. a father that read to me when I was very young, all of the time, every night, that was our ending thing. So okay. I like fairy tales and um, comic books and, and also novels. I, yes. I enjoyed reading them too, yes. 
Okay. Well, you know, this book, Mama, What Color Am I? is definitely a book that will inspire children and inspire parents as well. And I thank you for the message that you've brought to us today. And I thank you for coming and sharing um, your story with our audience and our friends at home. Thank you so much for having me and thank you for this platform. Thank you. Very Thank much. you so much. Uh, well, friends, it's time that we come to an end of another Read with Carolee, but make sure that you hit subscribe so that you do not miss another author that will be stopping by. So until next time, remember to grab a book, maybe this one, and read. Have a great week and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching another amazing episode of the Read with Carolee show. We have amazing authors coming by every week. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. You don't want to miss a thing.